Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to automatically create daily task reports using AI agent. So I am going to collect my employee's daily work report with the help of this automation. With the help of Pabli Connect, I have created this automation and Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which requires no coding or programming skills. Here I have just built the connection between Schedule by Pabli, Google Sheets, OpenAI which is my AI agent and Slack. With the help of Public Connect, I have built this connection in such a way that I am going to schedule this workflow to run every day and whenever I am going to receive the work report of my employees, that will be automatically generated with the help of OpenAI, which is my AI agent, and that work report will be sent to me or my team on Slack channel. If you want to learn the step-by-step -step process of how you can do this, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to automatically create a daily task report using AI agent. For this, we are going to create automation between Google Sheets, OpenAI and Slack with the help of Pabli Connect. So this is the landing page of Pabli and you can visit this simply by typing pabli.com slash connect in your browser. After browsing the website, we need to sign into a Pabli account. On the top right corner, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, click on the sign in and if you are a new user, click on the sign up for free. As I'm an existing user, I'll go with the sign in. And here all Pabli apps page has appeared which is showing me all the Pabli applications. I'm going to click on this Pabli Connect Access Now. And it has taken me towards this dashboard where I will be able to find all my workflows over here and all the folders which I've created over here. Now if you want to create a new folder, simply click on this plus icon and from here you can create a new folder. For now I want to create a new workflow for which I need to click on this create workflow button and first I need to provide the workflow name and then I have to select the folder in which I want to save that workflow. So first let's name this workflow as automatically create daily task reports using AI agent and now I need to select my folder. These are the folders which have been created here. I'm going to select it as AI agent and then click on create. Here workflow created successfully. As soon as I click on create, two boxes have appeared in front of me. One is trigger, other is action. So trigger says when this happens, an action says do this. So trigger is basically an event which starts the automation of a workflow. There can be only one trigger step in a workflow, but as many as action steps as you want. Here in this workflow, I want to create a daily task report using AI agent, which means whenever I'm going to create a new report or my team employees will create the new report, all together that report will be generated using AI agent and it will be sent to me on Slack channel. So here in my trigger application, it says when this happens. So in this workflow, I'm going to schedule this entirely. First, I'm going to schedule this workflow to run every day because whenever someone is going to add their work report in this Google Sheet, I want to generate the entire daily task report and send that to myself to Slack channel or my team. So I'm first going to schedule this to run every day on current dates. And then I'm going to fetch all the data which I will be adding in my Google Sheets every day and then generate the report and then send that to my Slack channel. So here in my trigger application, first I will be scheduling this entire workflow. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as schedule by Pabli which will help me schedule this workflow in the trigger event. I'm going to select it as schedule workflow. How often do you want to run this workflow? I'm going to select it as every day at 18, which means at 6 p.m. I'm simply going to click on the save and here it says it will run every day. I have received the response. The time is in UTC format is 12.30 and the local time is 18 according to Asia Kolkata which is 6 p.m. So this workflow is going to run every day on 6 p.m. Now I have scheduled this workflow to run every day and I have to get the current date. So whenever I'm going to add my work report on that particular date, the, the current date should be sent to my workflow and the daily task report should be generated. So here in my action application, I'm going to search for date time formatter. And in my action event, I'm going to select it as current date so that only that particular date's data is sent to my workflow. I'm going to select the basic format as year, month and date. 
and now i'm simply going to click on save and send test request and i'm going to receive the response here i have received the response now after that i've scheduled this and fetched the current date i have to click on the sad action step button and then in my action application i'm going to search for google sheets and then in my action event i'm going to search for look up spreadsheet rows v1 and then click on connect now over here if you have an existing connection go with save if you don't have one click on add new connection and then click on the sign in with google after this you need to choose your account and grant away the permission so your data is completely safe with public connect so you can do this i have already an existing connection i'll go with save so here you see Google Sheets is connected with Public Connect and now I have to enter all these details. So first I am going to enter the spreadsheet and the name of the spreadsheet is Work Report. So this is the spreadsheet which I have created. I am quickly going to add all the data in this spreadsheet. So here I have added the data. I have four members A, B, C, D. The date is 17 June 2025 and then the task description, the status, time spent and the notes. Now I am going to send all of this data to my Public Connect workflow. So for that I have already selected the spreadsheet as work report as you can see and now I am going to enter the lookup column. So over here the lookup column is column A. The dates will be added in this particular column. So the lookup column is column A and then I have to enter the lookup value. Over here I am going to enter the current date which I have received from my date time for matter. Over here in my sheets I am going to change the date to 18 because here we have fetched the current date as 18 June. Then the next field is include header in the response I am going to select it as true. Sort value I am going to select it as top. So now I have entered the spreadsheet, the column, lookup column and the lookup value and I am going to toggle off the simple response button because I want the response in advanced format so that I can send that entire data to my AI agent. I have toggled off this button and now I am going to click on save and send test request. Let's wait for the response. So here I have received the response. In this response, I have all my data. You can see that I have all the data, date, team member, description, status, time spent and notes and here I have received all the details. Now here as soon as I have received this work report, I want to send this to my AI agent. For that, I am going to click on this add action step button and then in my action application, I am going to search for open AI which is my AI agent and in my action event I am going to select it as chat GPT and then click on connect. If you have an existing connection go with save. If you don't have one click on this add new connection and then to make this connection we have to enter the token. Following the help desk given below I am going to enter this token and I am going to click on the hyperlink and it has taken me towards this API keys page. To create a new API token, I simply need to click on this create new secret key. First, I have to provide the key name. So let's say the key name is test. The project will be default project and the permissions will be all. And then I simply need to click on this create secret key. A new API token will be provided to me, which I need to copy and paste that over here. Now here as I have already an existing connection, I have created this connection multiple times. I am going to select it as existing connection and then go with save. Here OpenAI is connected with Pabli Connect and now I have to enter the AI model and the prompt. Now in this drop down I can find all the AI models. I am going to select it as GPT-40 Mini and then I need to enter the prompt. So I am going to enter the prompt in a way that I have these details from my Google Sheets and I want to generate the daily task report of these employees. So I am going to enter the prompt like create a short professional summary of the following team task updates for today and then I am going to enter the response which I have received. I am not going to enter that manually because I will be using the process mapping because mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response it is taken into consideration in this field. Manually entering the data will make this field static and the information will not change even if you have received the new response. Now when I click on this prompt field I can see this Google Sheets and here is the response. The complete data, the complete work report which I received in the response and I have mapped that. Over here if I manually enter any detail this field will become static and every time I receive a new response the result will not change. So as to keep this field dynamic we use this process mapping instead of manually entering the details.
I have entered the detail and now I am going to click on save and send test request. Let's wait for the response. So here I have received the response in this message content. I have my team task updates. Here I have received June 18, 2025, A, B, C, D. And then I have received the overall teamwork is making steady progress with three tasks completed and one is still in progress. Now, if you want to add something else in this, you can add that to your prompt and that will be generated in the response. Now that I have received this response, I want to send it to my Slack channel and for that I am going to click on add action step button and then in my action application, I am going to search for Slack and then in my action event, I am going to select it as send channel message and then click on connect. Now over here, if you have an existing connection, go with save. If you don't have one, click on this add new connection and then click on this connect with Slack. Here I need to enter the token type. So it is written, enter the token type as either user or bot. Check the documentation to find out how to get it. I'm going to enter the token type as user and simply click on save. I have already logged in in my Slack account and that's why I just need to grant away some permissions for which I need to click on this allow and it is always advisable to keep your applications logged in for the easy authorization. And Slack is connected with Pabli Connect. Now first I have to enter this channel ID. So this is the channel ID which I have created by the name employee report. So from this drop down I am going to select the channel ID as employee report. And then I am going to enter the message. So I am going to enter the message which I have received from my previous response. And this is the message which I have received which is the daily task report. I want to send the same to my channel. Over here image URL or text bot name bot icon are not required fields. I will skip this. The auto expand links remains true. Link username and channel names remain true and the reply broadcast is false. I am going to skip this field because this is not a required one and now I am simply going to click on save and send test request and here I have received the response. Now if I open my slack channel you will see that I have received a message and here it is. This is the same message which we have generated. So here in this workflow, first of all, we have scheduled this entire workflow to run every day at 6 p.m. And then I have fetched the current date that whenever I'm going to add the date like tomorrow is 19, the workflow is scheduled to run every day and then it will fetch for the current date which will be 19 tomorrow and whatever data I have on 19th in the spreadsheet that will be sent to my workflow and the daily task report will be generated with the help of OpenAI and sent to my team on Slack. So this is how this automation workflow is going to run and here we have successfully created automation between Google Sheets, OpenAI and Slack with the help of Pabli Connect. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications but you can integrate many more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. Now if you have any doubt you can reach us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any query, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue, you can visit the website given over here. Also, if you find our videos helpful, do share it with your friends and like and subscribe to our channel.